and welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we are doing our study on attitude and we've been doing that uh, this week. And uh, this series is called Our Attitude Matters. We've been studying about different kinds of attitudes and we've been looking at attitudes that we need to avoid in life. So when we avoid certain attitudes, we, we naturally uh, take on a positive attitude, take on and develop certain attitudes which are the opposite of the things that we are uh, avoiding, the attitude that we are avoiding. Uh, this is what the President Thomas Jefferson uh, 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 has said, Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on earth can help the man with the wrong mental attitude. So nothing can stop the man with the right attitude and nothing that can help the man with a wrong attitude. So having a right attitude is so important. It can change the next 24 hours of our lives. And if we keep at it, it can change the way we live our lives. It can change our future. Today, we're looking at an attitude to avoid again. And this is, uh, uh, we are looking at avoiding the critical attitude, okay? Uh, now, the constant complaining and criticism of problems, people, and just about anything. Constant complaining, constant negativity, you know, this is called, uh, this is a, a critical attitude. When we complain, when we criticize in a very disapproving and judgmental fashion, um, it is a critical attitude. Now, it differs from a constructive criticism. When it's a constructive criticism, we look at the problems, we acknowledge the problems, and we, we also suggest the solution, and we make ourselves part of solving the problem, whereas a, a critical attitude is not. Now, the downside of having a critical attitude is this, that it does not build faith in us. We look at everything as a glass which is half empty. It does not help build faith in us because we do not consider how God sees that problem. We, we do not look at the opportunity to serve or opportunity to solve that problem, but we just look at the negative of the problem. Or we do not also see how God sees the people in that particular situation. God also looks, God always looks at things in a very redemptive manner. He's a redemptive God. A critical attitude does not help change the situation either, right? It just amplifies the problem without solving it. So that's another downside. A critical attitude also breaks the enthusiasm and the motivation of people around us. Let's say if it is a team, if it is a, a, a group that we are overseeing, we are giving leadership to, when we have a critical attitude, when we criticize each and everything that is being done or the motive with which it is being done, it breaks the motivation, it breaks the enthusiasm of the people around us. Um, you know, sometimes parents think that if we criticize uh, their child, then it will inspire the child to do better, but it just does the opposite. The child becomes discouraged, the child's spirit is broken, and it's unable to do anything. So, um, a, while a constructive criticism speaks the truth about what is wrong, constructive criticism also has the well-being of others in mind. So that's the attitude to have. That's the antidote for a critical attitude. To have a constructive criticism, wanting to be part of the solution and to solve the problem. Suggest ideas, suggest possibilities. Ephesians 4 and verse 15 says, Speaking the truth in love that we may grow up into all things, into him who is the head, Christ. Let no corrupt word, Ephesians 4 verse 29, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. So let us pray. Father, we pray that you would help us, Lord, destroy this attitude of being critical, but rather, Lord, I pray that we would speak words that are edifying, that we would be part of the solution. We would be part of uh, solving that particular problem, Lord. Father, we pray that you'd empower us, that you would give us a revelation, Lord, of this truth and lead us to experience it in a powerful way, Lord. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.